uh, Professor Islam, you want to respond to what you've just heard because you, what Vikram Sampath is suggesting and Swapan Das Gupta is that one of the reasons why the RSS or indeed Goldwalker endures is because the RSS should be seen as a flexible, strategic organization that over the years has been able to build itself, to use Vikram's words, into the largest NGO. Don't look at it through the narrow prism of just a political organization committed to Hindu Rashtra. Your response? It would have been wonderful if uh, this conclave, some RSS person, because they people are denying, uh, denying that they have nothing to do with RSS. They are not RSS members. If some RSS, RSS person, RSS card holder, though they say we do not issue any card. Uh, so uh, that would be better, but I don't uh, agree to them. But they are broadly within the church of the uh, of the of the ideological uh -huh. framework. I don't think they will deny of the parivar. They uh -huh. both claim to be part of the sang parivar in different ways. Sir, Desai, sir, mera ye kehna hai ki ye हम जो टॉपिक है जरा उस पर हम इसको जर्नलिस्टिक चर्चा में ना बदले बातचीत को हाँ आप बताइए हम जो टॉपिक है इंडोरेंस ऑफ गोलवालकर यस राइट और मैं एक जो आई वुड बैक टू डिफर विद यू कि आरएसएस इस देश का सबसे बड़ा कल्चरल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है ये कैसे इस हाउ हैव यू अराइव्ड एट दिस क what is the basis of saying, always saying that RSS is the greatest, is the biggest Hindu organization of the world? RSS is the biggest cultural organization of India. I don't think that, I, I think that's not correct because they do not give membership. They do not maintain a membership record. That is one of the, one of the organizations which has no record of membership, no, no transfer, no uh, leaving the thing and they, they uh, run the government and when you uh, talk of our Prime Minister, 13th uh, July, talking to, 13th July 2013, talking to writers, he said, I am a RSS cadre and I was uh, groomed as a political leader by Golwalka. Mm -hmm. So that connection was very clear. Uh, so, but what I would, uh, I would like to emphasize, जिस पर मैं जोर देना चाहूँगा और मुझे लग रहा है कि ये मैं मजाक में नहीं कह रहा हूँ, लेकिन गुरु गोलवालकर जी जिन्होंने 80 परसेंट हिंदी में लिखा, उन पर हम अंग्रेजी में बात कर रहे हैं, तो ये उनकी आत्मा बड़ा परेशान हो रही होगी मुझे लग रहा है कि ये ये जो है मुझे लग रहा है कि गोलवलकर जी ने जो 80 परसेंट हिंदी में लिखा और उसमें बहुत सारा मैंने जमा किया है हम थोड़ा उनके मुंह से जानना चाहेंगे और मुझे डर लगता है कि जो लोग नॉन हिंदी स्पीकिंग जो आरएसएस को या गोलवलकर जी को डिफेंड कर रहे हैं उन्होंने गोलवलकर जी को पढ़ा ही नहीं है खास तौर पर उनके सात वॉल्यूम जो 1970s में आरएसएस ने छापे थे और वो गायब हो गए वो कहीं मिलते नहीं है वो बारह वॉल्यूम में एक सैनिटाइज उनका एक बारह वॉल्यूम में है लेकिन श्री गुरु जी समग्र दर्शन जो सात वॉल्यूम है वो पूरा सब जगह से गायब है तो हमको पढ़ना चाहिए और मैं उसमें से कुछ आपको आपको पढ़कर सुनाना चाहता हूं मुझे लगता है जब भी इसका मौका मिलेगा जी धन्यवाद नहीं नहीं आप आप अपनी बात व्हाट इज इट दैट सेंट्रल पॉइंट दैट यू वांट टू मेक अबाउट गुरु जी गोलवलकर दैट यू आर ट्रबल्ड विद यूजिंग व्हाट ही कोटेड जी एक प्रॉब्लम ये है कि आरएसएस या गुरु जी को लेकर हम हम मुसलमान और ईसाई वाला सवाल जोड़ देते हैं उसके बाद फिर किसी और चीज पर चर्चा की जरूरत नहीं गुरु जी का जो आइडियाज हैं जो देश के बारे में सब कुछ है दैट इज फार मोर डेंजरस far more dangerous and critical and with that kind of endurance india will not survive what is that idea the see 26 november 1949 indian constitution assembly passed the constitution, uh, indian constitution uh, four days after that rss mouthpiece english mouthpiece 20, uh, 30, uh, 30th november 1949 and that is the time when guru golwalkar ji sar sanchalak what is the editorial but in our constitution, there is no mention of the unique constitutional development in ancient Bharat. Manu's laws were written long before Lycurgus of Sparta or Solon of Persia. To this day, his laws, as enunciated in the Manu Smriti, excite the admi admi admiration of the world and elicit in spontaneous obedience and conformity. But to our constitutional pundits, that means nothing. And he himself writing in Bunch of Thoughts. Bunch of Thoughts, page 20, 238. 
our constitution too is just cumbersome and heterogeneous piecing together of various articles from various constitution of western countries it has absolutely nothing which can be called our own is there a single word of reference in its guiding principles as to what our national mission is what our keynote is in life is this is exactly what's about congress and their uh, their so, so many drafts you're saying he had no belief in the constitution exactly he and had he believed in the manus priti but that is 1949 we are in 2023 uh -huh. but have they, have rss or anybody or these friends have rejected mr islam mr they, islam no, do you want finish. everyone to let me finish this no please, please. you please. must answer this do you want what golwalkar said in 1949 to be a defining facet of indian politics have you have you do, do you want it no do, Do you want no, it? I am not it supposed would seem to. That you want gentlemen, no, I am not supposed to, to respond. To you are supposed to respond. Have you rejected it? Yes. Have, have you rejected? Have it? any forum of RSS rejected it? And about uh, tricolor, 14th August 1947, they come out with an editorial. Those who have come to power through peak of fate may give tricolor in the hands of Hindus. Hindus will never accept it. It has three colors, and three colors are bad omen. Can I just have add you, to what Mr. Yeah, you, Mr. Have Islam have just said? I will just just I'll take one no, minute. I think what I'll just saying, take one minute, Rajdeep. Yeah. I mean, to the con I mean, these were the times that he's talking about, where there was a lot of churn and discussion about this. Uh, you know, the constitution. I'll just finish the. Uh, finish. The constitution. The constitution was being formulated. Professor People had different views about it. For tricolor, I mean, Gandhi ji in July 1947, just before the tricolor was being adopted, he wanted the Union Jack also uh, on uh, the tricolor. And in August, Gandhi ji in his collected works uh, of Mahatma Gandhi, you can go and check it out. In August 1947, he says, uh, if there is no charkha in the middle. and you have the ashok chakra and not the charkha that he uh, you know uh, had i will not salute this national flag because i do not consider it as our national flag so is gandhi ji also then anti national because he said i don't want to accept the tricolor so they, this was a time of churn people were talking about the constitution people and how how is it so bad to have a different opinion about the constitution and say we should include different elements of it it's not the blasphemy as it is in some abrahamic religion no, to talk as... about a holy book and say anything against it is uh, you know a renegade I...